Ever wondered why the ILT's reading list of headings seems like an insurmountable challenge? You're not alone. Many find this particular task to be a formidable foe. But why is that? What makes the ILT's reading list of headings such a mystery? The ILT's reading list of headings is a significant part of the ILT's reading test. It's designed to assess your ability to understand the main idea of each paragraph in a text. The challenge lies in identifying the correct heading that encapsulates the essence of the paragraph from a list provided. Sounds simple, right? Well, it's not as straightforward as it seems, and that's where most of the confusion arises. Many aspirants grapple with the misinterpretation of headings. It's quite common to select a heading that appears to be relevant, but doesn't capture the main idea of the paragraph. The trick lies in understanding the nuances of the text and not being misled by a few keywords. Then, there's the issue of time management. With the clock ticking, it's easy to feel the pressure and rush through the task, leading to careless mistakes. The key here is to keep your cool and approach the task methodically. Another common obstacle is the complexity of the texts. The ELTS reading passages can range from descriptive and factual to discursive and analytical. These texts can cover a wide range of topics, and the language is often academic and sophisticated. This can be quite intimidating and make it difficult to understand the main ideas. So you see, the IELTS reading list of headings is not just about matching a heading to a paragraph. It's about understanding the text, deciphering the main ideas, managing your time effectively, and not getting thrown off by complex language or misleading keywords. But fret not, as today we will decode this mystery and simplify the process for you. So buckle up and get ready to unravel the IELTS reading list of headings mystery. The first step towards conquering any challenge is to understand it thoroughly. The task of matching headings in the ILTS reading section might seem daunting at first, but with a clear understanding it becomes manageable. So, what exactly is this task all about? It's about your ability to comprehend and interpret written text. You'll be given several paragraphs, each with a unique heading. Your task is to match these headings with the appropriate paragraphs. This task tests not just your reading skills, but also your comprehension and analytical abilities. It demands from you a keen eye for detail and a knack for understanding the central theme of a paragraph. It's not just about reading the words, but understanding their collective meaning. Remember, each heading encapsulates the main idea of a paragraph. Your goal is to find that main idea. Once you understand the task, you're already halfway through the battle. So, let's dive in deeper and conquer this challenge together. Now that we know what the task is, let's move on to the techniques of skimming and scanning. Imagine you're an efficient detective. Skimming and scanning are your magnifying glass and fingerprint powder. They help you uncover the essential clues in your ILTS reading passage without having to read every single word. They are key time savers and comprehension boosters. Let's start with skimming. Picture yourself as a bird flying over a landscape. You don't see every detail, but you get a broad overview. That's what skimming is about. You're not trying to read every word. Instead, you're aiming to grasp the general idea of the text. Look at the title, subtitles, and any highlighted words or phrases. Read the first and last sentences of each paragraph. This should give you a clear picture of the main themes and ideas in the passage. Now, let's talk about scanning. If skimming is like flying, scanning is like zeroing in on a target. It's about finding specific information quickly. You're not reading for understanding, but for information. It's like when you're looking for a friend's name in a phone book. You don't read every name. You scan until you find the one you're looking for. Similarly, in your ELTS reading passage, you'll scan for keywords or phrases that match the questions you need to answer. These techniques might sound simple, but they require practice. Start by skimming a text, then write down what you think it's about. Next, pick a specific piece of information and try to scan the text to find it. Check your answers against the text to see how well you did. Remember, the ILTS isn't just testing your English. It's also testing your ability to use English to accomplish specific tasks efficiently. That's where skimming and scanning come in. They help you sift through information quickly and accurately, so you can answer questions with confidence. Mastering these techniques will give you a significant edge in your ELTS preparation. So, keep practicing, and you'll be a skimming and scanning pro in no time. Armed with the understanding of the task and the right techniques, it's time to match the headings. This is where we connect the dots and bring everything together. So how do we go about matching the headings? 
Well, the first step is to understand the main idea of each paragraph. Go through the text and try to sum up the content of each paragraph in one simple sentence. This will help you identify the theme or the central idea of the paragraph. Now, once you have the main idea, it's time to match it with the correct heading. Look at the headings given and find the one that best summarizes the main idea of the paragraph. Sounds simple, right? But beware, it's not always as straightforward as it seems. One common pitfall to avoid is getting caught in the trap of matching keywords. Sometimes a heading may contain a keyword that is also in the paragraph. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right match. Remember, we're looking for the main idea, not just random keywords. Another pitfall is to avoid rushing. Yes, time is of the essence, but hastily matching headings without fully understanding the paragraph can lead to mistakes. So, take your time to understand each paragraph before matching it with a heading. And lastly, don't forget to double check. It's always a good idea to revisit your answers before moving on. This way, you can catch any mistakes and correct them before it's too late. So, there you have it. Matching the headings is a crucial step in the IELTS reading test. It requires a good understanding of the text, sharp attention to detail, and a lot of practice. And speaking of practice, here's a little tip for you. Try to practice matching headings with different types of texts. This will help you get comfortable with a variety of topics and improve your overall skills. Remember, practice is the key to perfect your matching skills. So, keep practicing and you'll be a pro at matching headings in no time. You've understood the task, learned the techniques, and know how to match the headings. What's next? Practice, of course. So, let's dive into the world of practice and review. This is where the real learning happens. You've got the theory, the techniques, and the strategies under your belt. Now it's time to put them all into action. But why is practice so important? Well, it's simple. Practice makes perfect. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. You can read about it, watch videos, and understand the physics behind it. But until you hop on that bike and start pedaling, you won't truly learn how to balance and steer. The same applies to acing the ILTS reading section. You can learn about skimming, scanning, and matching the headings. But to truly master these skills, you need to practice. And not just once or twice, but regularly. So how do you practice? There are countless past ILTS reading papers available. These are a gold mine of practice material. Try out different papers and don't be afraid of making mistakes. In fact, mistakes are your best teachers. They highlight the areas you need to work on. So when you make a mistake, don't just move on. Take a moment to understand why you made that mistake and how you can avoid it in the future. But practice alone isn't enough. Review is equally crucial. After each practice session, take some time to review your performance. Look at the questions you got right, and more importantly, the ones you got wrong. Understand the reasoning behind the correct answers. This will not only help you correct your mistakes, but also deepen your understanding of the task. And remember, practice and review isn't a one-time thing. It's a cycle. You practice, you review, you learn, and then you practice again. And with each cycle, you'll find yourself getting better and better. With diligent practice and consistent review, you'll see your performance improve dramatically. Before we wrap up, let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. We started by demystifying the ILTS reading list of headings, a seemingly daunting task. We then moved on to understanding the task itself, highlighting the importance of reading the instructions carefully and noting key points within the passages. Next, we delved into the techniques of skimming and scanning. Skimming enables you to grasp the general idea of the text, while scanning helps you locate specific information. Both techniques are vital in saving time and improving comprehension. We then explored the process of matching headings to paragraphs, a task that requires careful reading and understanding of the main idea of each paragraph. Finally, we emphasize the importance of practice and review. The more you practice, the more efficient you become. Reviewing your work helps you identify mistakes and avoid them in the future. Armed with these strategies, you are now ready to tackle the EELTS reading list of headings challenge head-on. Good luck!